how do you know when you're ready to start making games? I'm gonna answer that question and a lot more coming up. What's going on guys, Tim Russwick here from Game Dev Underground. And today we're gonna to talk about a question that I received in an email um, that basically was asking, how do you know when you're ready to start making games? Uh, and this is a question that I see in a couple different uh, formats. Um, a lot of people will ask, they won't ask that question directly, but they'll ask questions that are basically asking the same thing. Um, there is a lot of people that spend a lot of time learning about game development. Um, I've got a lot of questions that said, I've been studying game development, I, I've been learning, I've been watching Unity tutorials, I've been, I've been doing this, uh, when do I start? Like, how do I know when I'm ready? Uh, and the answer is, you're never ready, man. You're never, you're never ready. So you know what you got to do? You got to start. As hard as it is, you just got to start. You're never going to be ready. The, the perfect time is never going to come. So no matter where you think you're at uh, in game development, even if you haven't ever downloaded an engine or you haven't touched a piece of code, uh, start now. It doesn't matter what you know. It doesn't matter any piece of knowledge that you have. Download a game engine. Download Unity, download Game Maker, download Construct, pick one at random or go to their websites, but pick one, download it, make a game. Like, and when you watch tutorials, don't just watch tutorials, follow the tutorials, complete the end product that are in the tutorials. Stop learning, okay? If you are one of the people that has consumed a bunch of knowledge and you haven't started yet, you need to stop learning and start doing. That is how you make games. That's how you know when you're ready to start. You just start. And then you say, I was ready to start. Um, there are always going to be challenges that you encounter. There's always going to be things that you have to learn. There's always going to be things that you aren't quite ready for. Uh, but those things only come up when you start, when you're in the project, when you're actually developing the shit. And then something comes up and you're like, hey, I don't know how to do that. So you learn it and you overcome it. Um, you can't learn that stuff from tutorials, man. You, it's... It's hard. It, it's not going to come up. You're not going to watch your tutorial and say, "Oh, now I have experience making a game." You have to. Af you have to actually do the thing. You have to actually follow the tutorial. You have to go through the process of making something to understand all the little aspects of it. And you're you're not going to get it in your first game either. You're going to have to make a couple different projects, and the projects are going to probably be shit at first, but they're going to get better and better, and better over time. And um, you just got to keep at it. So if you been studying game development if you've been reading about it if you read books and watch tutorials and, and and all that you're probably suffering from information overload <clears throat> you probably don't know where to start you're probably wondering like hey I, I i've learned all this stuff but i don't know where i should put my beginning point like where where do i actually go and the answer to that is you pick an engine you download it and you you start you just start making games um and a lot of times information overload can lead to analysis paralysis which is basically now you have all this information but you have too much information so you you get paralyzed by trying to analyze the different things that you could do right like which engine should i choose what kind of game should i make um these are questions that get asked over and over and over and over and over again uh because and, and when people ask them by the way i know what phase of game development they're in without them even telling me because these questions only come up in information overload in analysis paralysis so i know the mode that they're in right away by people just asking me these questions um and so everybody goes through this right everybody feels like they're not quite ready everybody especially programmers which tend to be introverts in a way at which a lot of the programmers are um we're very analytical, like we're very mathematical, we're very logical. So we analyze things. We spend a lot of time taking in information. We don't like to take risks. We don't like to dive in the water. Maybe we'll stick our toe in a tiny little bit. Uh, we won't just dive in, but what you really have to do is dive in. Like that's the fastest way to get used to the water, right? Like, yeah, you can go in little by little. I remember, <laughs> cause it, me, we used to travel a lot when we were little and like road trips and stuff. and. Me and my brother, we'd always be at different like hotels with pools and stuff. And this, we were like eight and twelve or something like that. Um, and he would always dive in, and I would be the one to like stick my toe in, and then put my foot in, and then go up to my ankles, 
and then go up to my waist and the waist was always the hardest part right like that was that was because the pool was freezing cold and he would just dive in and i'd be like dude why do you do that he's like no you should just do it you should do it. Like, no 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 and that's a perfect metaphor for our relationship really i've learned so much from him just from that aspect but that's how life is too man like there are there are a lot of key benefits to being analytical and having that perspective and 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 not taking risks of being safe right there there are places for that but a place the place for that is not when you're learning a new skill or not when you're, you're doing something that can't cause harm to you how can starting making a game cause harm to you what's the worst that can happen you can't figure it out so you google it that's it i mean that's that's the worst thing that can happen there's no real harm there's no real danger so just start man just just take make the decision to start making games it doesn't matter if you think you're ready it doesn't matter if you you don't know how to fully make the game yet it doesn't matter if you know what engine to choose just pick one and start that's how you know when you're ready when you do it because life is not going to hold a giant sign in your face and say now you are ready to start because if you read wait for the perfect moment you're going to be waiting forever uh, and dude i've learned this lesson in so many different ways like i was going to start a youtube channel when game dev undergo started in 2013 man I waited, I waited four years, four years to start this YouTube channel. Why didn't I start it back in 2013? If I would have done that, you know how far along I would have been? Be because I didn't think I was ready. I didn't have the camera equipment, I didn't have the mic, I didn't have the lighting. You know what, I don't need any of that. Like, I've showed, I've done videos on my webcam, I've done videos out on my, my porch, I've done videos out and about in a mall with my phone. Like, waiting till you're ready is the worst possible decision that you can make you are ready right now you are you can jump in you can figure this out you're smart and again especially when there's no downside to this like obviously if you're not ready to jump off a cliff and you jump off a cliff something bad can happen game development not so much you end up with a product that doesn't work or a fucking half tutorial video game like there's no downside so start now that's how you know when you're ready that's it. That's all I have to say. So if you're not starting now, you know, that's that's on you. So I think you should start right now. So if you started, please leave a comment below. Let me know where you're at in your current game. Um, if you haven't started, don't, don't comment. Don't post excuses. There's no excuses. I won't tolerate excuses. Uh -uh. There's no excuse for not starting. So start a game. Leave me a comment. And uh, once again, I'm Tim Ruswick, and I'll see you guys next time.